Sometimes in video games, you don't want to be an action hero or a super criminal or anything like that. You just want to experience a simulation of something in the real world. Simulation games, believe it or not, are absolutely huge in some corners of the gaming community. So today we're highlighting 10 great simulation games where you can actually really learn something, real world knowledge. Let's get started off with number 10 and start off with a bang talking about SnowRunner and MudRunner. These games are pretty deceptive like a lot of games on this list where you hear what it is and ultimately you're like, that sounds really boring. And then the second you play it, you realize it's incredibly addictive and fun. So there's MudRunner, but then more recently Snow runner which they focus around driving trucks through hazardous terrain that's it it's literally about you getting to a location properly delivering something hauling cargo while dealing with all types of deep mud snow flooding steep inclines and mountains and all kinds of things that all surprisingly make it kind of like a really satisfying driving experience because it makes something as simple as driving down a road 10 times more challenging and you have to think about everything how much gas you're using, depending on the game, uh, whether or not you have a winch and when you can use it and how you can use it, what gear you're in, how fast your tires are spinning, are you making it worse, are you gonna get stuck in the mud or the snow? Snow Runner, as the most recent follow-up, has done a lot to make the game a little bit more accessible and kind of give you more uh, larger and more exciting environments, but still, there's tons of details here and, and tons of things to learn about how to properly tow cargo, what types of trailers you should use, how much gas these beasts actually require. Of course, like I said earlier, using the proper gear is one of the most important things and other features that your truck may have depending on what you're driving. You'd be surprised, these games are slow paced but incredibly satisfying. And maybe now next time you find yourself in the snow or the mud, you might have a better idea of the capabilities of your vehicle or lack thereof. Now over at number nine, we have PC Building Simulator, which is really cool. First of all, it's just a fun concept for a game, especially obviously a PC game at that. But what it does is pretty fun. It essentially has a bit of a career mode where different people bring in their PCs and you have to diagnose the problems and fix them or build them exactly what they want with the right amount of parts, uh, within the right amount of budget. And you're doing it with real world licensed computer parts from of course all of the big companies. Even the cases. Uh, some of the cases featured in the game are cases I've had and built in in real life. And it's really cool to see, especially that they got this deal with all these real brands. So it kind of makes the game actually feel legit, you know? Many people have said they had no idea how a PC works and this absolutely helped them out. And of course, cause you're not using your hands in the game, you can't learn every single thing or really get the skill. But essentially by doing this, you kind of learn how the sausage is made, so to speak, how a PC actually works, what parts it requires, what does the motherboard do? How does the power supply power everything? Proper cooling, proper ventilation, some cable management stuff, all that is here. And it's actually pretty fun to experience in video game form. Now over at number eight, we have The Hunter, Call of the Wild, which if you are someone who either enjoys hunting or wants to enjoy hunting but doesn't have the capability to do so, this is probably one of the more accurate simulations you can get lately. There's a lot of detail here from, of course, like very realistic bullet ballistics and, and the physics and everything you have to manage uh, when you're aiming down sights. A lot of the things you'd have to think about in real life, tracking down these animals and aiming at these animals and then taking these animals' lives, you have to think about here in the game and that's pretty cool, especially considering the detail they have in the weapons uh, and the actual animals themselves. They have more realistic sleep cycles, uh, what they do in the environment. And of course, you gotta track them down, so you gotta learn all that. Not to mention, the game also does a good job of simulating how time-consuming hunting can actually be. It's not just running around in the woods and firing at things. No, you need to take hours and slowly trek and track and wait patiently. And the game does that and actually gives you some pretty nice scenery to look at in the process. So it's a cool simulation for just that hunting experience, so to speak. Now over at number seven, we have Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, the one that is the most beloved right now seems to be Car Simulator 2018, and it's incredibly comprehensive. Uh, like PC Builder earlier, I mentioned since you, know, you can't actually use your hands, you're not really, really learning how to build a car, but you're getting a damn good idea of how a car works and the fundamentals that you pick up 
that you wouldn't learn otherwise. In Car Mechanic Simulator, you can basically build a car from the ground up, like with the engine and everything. You can also find old cars in barns and then fix them up once you kind of have an idea of how to fix the cars in these games. It does work off of kind of percentage, like completion rate, but everything in the game is, is essentially clickable. Uh, you have a whole mechanic shop and office to manage. You can search for parts and use old salvage to build up a vehicle. You can learn how to do brakes. You can see and experience how an engine actually works, what it takes for it to run. And there's over 40 cars and over a thousand parts. And it's essentially the biggest this type of game has ever been. Yes, it's like a really cool game to relax and like have a cup of coffee and kick back and just kind of tinker and click on cars and build them up, uh, but also the fact that it does have the progression of going from a little tiny crappy shop and then building yourself up to like this badass high tiered mechanic shop is also really cool and very much appreciated in this type of thing. Many people have claimed that they had no idea how a car even worked and then after playing this game it kind of served as the gateway to them jumping onto touching a real world car and not being as afraid, which is pretty powerful stuff. Aren't video games cool? Now over at number six, we have Football Manager 2020. And now by football, I mean soccer for you Americans. But essentially this game is all about you completely running and managing your own football club. That means making all of those important decisions from the actual player rosters, to the training, to the actual in-game strategies. Basically, this game tries really hard to make you feel like a manager. And yes, a lot of it is looking at numbers, looking at sports statistics, and managing menus, but there is some football simulation in there. And ultimately, even if it is just a bunch of data and numbers, as a football fan, you might understand that some of these decisions that you're gonna make in the game are incredibly important, and the game really nails that feeling. So if you wanna have an idea of how in a, a football club actually works. Football Manager 2020 can give you an actually real and kind of scary look into that life. Now at number five, we have Euro Truck Simulator and you know what, while we're at it, American Truck Simulator too, because they, they both pull off a very similar thing. These games are surprisingly big. A lot of people play Truck Simulator games, of course, like we mentioned earlier, Snow Runner and Mud Runner, but these are more focused on the open road, both in Europe and America. And the idea of driving massive trucks, you have to learn how to properly brake, how to properly turn and handle these giant beasts, how to properly shift. Not only that, this simulates the trucking lifestyle and how it can often be pretty lonely and you spend a lot of time on the road. In American Truck Simulator, you can actually manage your whole cabin. This is where you're going to pull over and sleep. So the game gives you full customization of the cabins, the chassis, paint jobs. Of course, you can tune your engine. Then you have to learn, of course, how to haul and manage these different cargoes, you know, frozen cargo, hazardous cargo, stuff like that. You also, of course, have to follow the law and, and do all the things that comes with that, you know, properly turning, you know, following proper rules of traffic, speed limits, stuff like that. But it's even more in depth in terms of braking. In fact, there are multiple types of braking for massive trucks like this, and the game can essentially walk you through and introduce you to all of them. It is a lot more in depth than you would expect, and also, these games are pretty good looking and just generally satisfying and kind of relaxing to play, despite the overall challenge of managing a massive truck. Now at number four, we have House Flipper, which is a game that essentially simulates flipping a house and selling property for a profit. It starts out interestingly enough with you just kind of small time cleaning these old beat up houses and trying to get something going with it. But eventually you have a bunch of money and tools at your disposal to really make some badass houses and continue to earn money. And the game started out very much like a PC gamers indie game, feeling pretty rough around the edges, but it has improved over time and there's tons of tools you can use to essentially clean up a space and completely modify it from moving kitchen cabinets to painting the walls to redoing the windows and then to get the actual satisfying feeling of selling it and moving on to the next thing. It's really fun and can kind of give you a vague idea of what it takes to flip a house. Although with this one, I would say we like the idea more than the actual real world skills applied to it. The game is just a fun concept, but I gotta say flipping houses in real life is a freaking nightmare. Now down to number three, of course, you know we were gonna mention it, Farming Simulator. These games have lived on for many years and have been played throughout the world and are surprisingly successful. Farming Simulator has grown more and more comprehensive over the years and has given you more types of land, uh, bigger sizes of land to manage, more crops to grow, weather simulations to deal with. Uh, you learn how to properly water your crops. Not only that, you learn how to use the proper tools and of course, mechanical tools like all different types of tractors to get the job done. There's actually a 
ton of work that goes into properly managing a farm. In fact, frankly, it's downright insane. And when you jump into the newest farming simulator game, you'll realize how out of your depth you might be if you don't know a thing about farming. Thankfully, the game does kind of uh, bring you along and teach you some things. And once you really get it all figured out, you can get a properly run farm and have an absolute blast. But here, what you do pick up is just how much, like I said, it takes in the real world to do this. It's not as easy as it is in Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, which is literally all I know about farming. There's a lot more to it in Farming Simulator and the game is not afraid to essentially give you the trial by fire for it, you know? Now down to number two, we have a bit of a creative and weird one, and that's BeamNG.Drive. This is a car game, but it's more of a physics simulator. It's really something to mess around with. You're not learning about highly realistic racing or anything like that. You're really learning about the physics and stuff, not only just vehicles, but just large moving objects and mass, uh, like you can ram into speed bumps at high speed and just kind of like see what happens. There's a lot of satisfying videos out there of that. Um, also driving on different planets and learning about the gravity and how it affects you in different ways. BeamNG essentially works as just like a compilation of a bunch of uh, weird scenarios that have been created and you get to just kind of mess around with them and maybe learn something and ideally also have a dumb, stupid good time at the same time. <laughs> Now down to number one, of course, you know we were gonna mention it, Microsoft Flight Simulator. This series has existed for a very long time, from, from pretty much the early days of the home computer, and it's been improving ever since and really introducing people to what it actually takes to lift off, fly around, and land an actual airplane. And it's incredibly comprehensive, and over the years, you've gotten more control over the plane as a player. There's been more emphasis on the instrument panel and all of the throttles and switches that you actually have to use. And then, of course, at the time of making this video, we also have the upcoming flight simulator kind of revamp, which looks downright insane and highly realistic and gives you so much of the real world to fly through. Every single airport in the world is recreated in this game and it uses real world map data to simulate the things you fly over. It's crazy. There are other flight games out there that simulate a lot of realistic things, especially if you want to use your own flight stick and throttle. But we think Microsoft Flight Simulator is kind of like the best representation of all of them. It's accessible. It's fun to jump into, but it's difficult to master, and there's a lot of options in all of them. And it's a historic game for a reason. Check it out if you're into aircraft stuff. But of course, we got some bonus games for you as well. Of course, we have DCS World, which is more of a flight simulator game from a combat perspective. It's also land, sea, and air, so you can manage boats and tanks in a fairly realistic manner. And then of course, we had to mention a cooking game. Cooking Simulator is one of the ones that comes to mind. It can get pretty challenging, that's all I'll say. <laughs> but those are some simulation games where you can actually pick up some real world concepts and skills and knowledge. But of course, there are so many other games like this out there, so we'd love to hear down in the comments. If you have your own top five simulation games, we'd love to hear it. What do you think of the farming simulator games? What do you think of the mechanic simulator games? Do you play a truck driver game? Anything at all, let us know in the comments. And if you learned a thing or two, clicking the like button's the best way you can help us out. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider subscribing, maybe hitting that notification bell, because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.